How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil the Mike's and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We're kind of trying to figure out Gant's motivation here. What an accomplice, I guess. That way he would have gained something, maybe, if he was trying to help out someone? True, you might not help out someone for their sake, but if it would benefit you, you might decide to assist someone. Ooh, oh, we hit a nerve. We still haven't seen, like, the, um... We've seen him adjusting his tie. That's as close as we've gotten to him, like, losing his coolie. But, like, with, like, the, like, the, the big kept-together characters, it's fun to when they finally start to crack and you get to see it. Mr. Wright, it appears you're positively determined to portray the chief as a nice man who likes to lend people a hand. That's not what I mean. Very well, then. Who is this person you believe Chief Gant may have helped forge evidence? Um, it's clearly Lana. That's what she has. That's what he has on her. That's at least that's how it looks like. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky, th the defendant. I call her Lana Gant by mistake. <laughs> I believe it's quite obvious in light of the circumstances. Emma Sky fell victim to an unfortunate series of events. Events. Who would want to help her more than her own sister, Lana? And as for Chief Gant, he would also have a reason to help Lana if she asked him to. That reason, of course, is self-profit. Self-profit? What do you mean? After the SL9 incident was resolved, Lana Sky was appointed chief prosecutor at the prosecutor's office. The person who arranged this job change was you, Chief Gant. But how would he profit from all of this? He would be able to use the chief prosecutor as his puppet. Essentially, he would acquire unchecked authority over all investigations. Do you mean to tell me that, despite the Chief's formidable appearance, he plays with puppets? <laughs> I love the judge so much. Oh wait, you must mean puppet as an e someone forced to do his bidding. Never mind! <laughs> Admit it, Chief. You, assist you assisted Lana Sky in forging evidence. Your motive? To appoint her as Chief Prosecutor so you could control her. Right oh my boy. You have quite an imagination. Let me ask you something. What? Do you have any proof of this? That I controlled Lana? For example, is Lana testifying that I've done such a thing? Lana, she's keeping quiet to protect Emma. There's no way she testify against Gant. I'm afraid without any proof, this all amounts to nothing more than mere conjecture. Unless, that is also what happened in this instance. This incident? Uh, which one would that be? Of course I'm talking about. The murder of Detective Bruce Goodman. Uh, we all forgot that that's what we're doing here, by the way, right? The Chief Prosecutor has been acting strange throughout this entire trial. Almost as if someone has been controlling her. Like a puppet. Worthy. You better watch your tongue. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Like, stuff like that, when you say stuff like that, it's, like, so freaking obvious. Just what do you mean? What he means, Your Honor, is that Chief Gant is involved in the murder of Detective Goodman. Not only that, but the Chief is now making Lana take the rap to cover up his involvement. What? 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 Careful, old man, you're gonna have a heart attack. Order, order, order! I said order! Mr. Wright, you... You can't be serious! Huh? This... This is an affront to the highest ranking officer in our law enforcement agency. To accuse the chief of police of blackmail and murder! That's, uh... Eh, impossible! Damn, I've never seen the judge be, like, so emotional about it, you know? Your Honor, I was merely reiterating what Mr. Edgeworth said in easier-to-understand language. It's too late, Mr. Wright. There's no turning back for us now. It looks like he's the one who's decided to go through with this. Can you prove this, Mr. Wright? That the chief, a high-ranking officer of the law, is involved in this murder? I always... So, okay, it's pretty obvious that Chief Gant is corrupt. Blah, 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 blah. I always wonder if the, if the judge is... I like the judge. He seems so dumb and adorable. It makes me sad to think that, like, he might have also, like, taken bribes and stuff. So, I, I don't know. I always felt bad about thinking like that. Good question. Regardless of his rank or title, Chief Gant is just a man. The question is, is he a criminal? I believe the evidence will tell. I see. Alright then. Let's see what Mr. Wright's got, and it better be good. 
Show us this evidence that ties Chief Gant to the murder of Detective Goodman. The one thing we got that is about him and the murder is the ID record, because we were pretty sure that's his ID. This is the ID card list. Yes, the one that shows who entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. There was one ID on the list we couldn't determine the owner of yesterday. 7777777. Sorry, but there's no way you can prove that's my, no my card number. It's your number. Exclamation mark. What? How do you know that? The safe in Chief's Gantz, uh, Gantz office requires a code to open. A seven-digit code. Seven digits? You don't mean... I'm afraid so, Your Honor. The code was 777-7777. The same as the remaining ID card number on that list. Chief Gant. Oh, there we go. You entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. My resolve has been, like, brought back. <laughs> order! Order! Chief Gant, what do you have to say? Nothing. The defense's search of my office was in violation of regulations. And I will demand Mr. Wright be punished to the maximum extent of the law. But right now, there's a court that demands an explanation from you about the use of this ID card. This is a complicated case, man. Chief Gat, so you admit it? You entered the evidence room on the day of the crime? What about it? I'm chief of police, whether it's the evidence room or the bathroom. What's the difference? I can go anywhere I want. Tell me, when you entered the room, were you alone? I always go to the bathroom alone, as I do with the evidence room. Detective Goodman wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have happened to be with you on that day, would he? Uh, of course not. Why would he? Oh, that's the first time we ever see, like, a, a stutter, too. I hadn't seen him in days. You hadn't seen him in days, Chief Gant? I'm afraid you've just undone yourself. Really? I don't know how. On that day, you had to have him... On that day, you had, you had to have met with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? This trial's purpose is deter to determine Lana Sky's guilt. No, it isn't, Your Honor. This trial's purpose is to determine the truth. If Chief Gant met with the victim on the day of the crime, then we need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? In that case, Mr. Wright, I'm going to have to ask you for evidence. Show us proof that the victim went to meet Chief Gant on the day of the crime. Uh, b -b 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 I have a hunch? Well, no. Uh, half written? It can only be submitted to the chief of police, but did he end up submitting it? I don't remember if he did, because it's half written. Okay, yeah, I guess we're good. Detective Goodman lost his ID card on the day of the crime. Or to be more accurate, Jake Marshall stole it. So Detective Goodman filled out a lost item report. He would have had to give that report to the chief of police. Yet you are in possession of the report, which means you can't be sure if he fouled it. He filed it. How do I know, you ask? Because he needed to enter the evidence room that day. He needed to? Yes, to transfer the evidence out. Oh! Detec detective Goodman took the form to you, Chief Gant. Then, you accompanied the detective to the evidence room. Ah, uh, accompanied him? There's no other way the murderer and, the de and Detective Goodman could have entered the room. Hold on. Let me guess what you're going to say next. Ah, the chief of police murdered poor Goodman. Exactly. Oh shit, we're saying it out loud now. But wait! The chief didn't necessarily need to accompany him to the evidence room. He could have just lent him his ID card. Yes. Now that you mention it, I believe I might have done something of the sort. Sorry, but that's not possible. According to the record, your card was only used once. Yet you showed us your ID card earlier. If you had really lent it to De Detective Goodman, it would have been found on his body. Ooh. N no! Oh, wow. He's like, I like the electricity kind of thing. I guess in an interview, I don't know the guy's name, the guy who like designs his characters, he designed Gant like Zeus. So like the electricity and lightning and stuff like that is very based on that. That's really cool. Chief Gant, you didn't. The murder was most likely a spur-of-the-moment crime, for no one in their right mind would choose the police de department as a place to commit murder. After the murder, you, con you contacted Lana at the prosecutor's office. Why? To dispose of Detective Goodman's body, of course. 
You're forgetting, Mr. Wright. That, that the victim's body was discovered in the prosecutor's office's parking lot. How did he manage to move it there? I was at the police department the entire day, you know. And everyone's aware that Lana stayed at the prosecutor's office after the ceremony. Everyone except me, it seems. Still, you're the chief of police. You have an entire police force at your disposal. Oh, so you think I just ordered an officer to do it? Hey, you, take this here dead body over to the prosecutor's office. I don't think so. Chief Gant, you left all the evidence we need to prove how you moved the body to the prosecutor's office. And all this time, I thought it was a useless clue just taking up space. Oh, we're going to do the screwdriver finally? How could the chief have moved the body? Mr. Wright, show us this evidence. To move the victim's body, chief can't use this. I'm glad he says that because I would not have thought of the screwdriver. Evidence from a past case ever brought back to his office by uh, Gant's request. This is how you move Detective Goodman's body. What's that? A screwdriver? But what does that have to do with this case? Mr. Edgeworth, think back to the day of the crime. What is the screwdriver doing here? It's here because... Uh, ah! I was asked to go, by Chief Gant, no less. He told me that he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. After the ceremony ended that day, I didn't plan to return to the prosecutor's office. But you did, because Chief Gant asked you to. You mean I... I... The body was found in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. I think it's obvious what happened. The body was moved by that car. Shit. So he got, like, he accidentally got, uh... Or not accidentally, like, Edgeworth accidentally moved the body himself. Detective Goodman's body was carried in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Yes. Unless, of course, you have another explanation, Chief. Why else would you have asked Mr. Edgeworth to transport evidence from a closed case? There's only one plausible explanation. To transport the body to your accomplice, Miss Lana Skye. Order, order, order. What's going on here? Is there no room for rebuttal to the defense's outrageous accusations? Think back to the photograph Miss Starr took of the, at the prosecutor's office. This was, this was not a photo of the body being stuffed in the trunk to be taken away. It was exactly the opposite. It is a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. Chief Gant, please say something. I believe. Your time's up. My time's up? Sorry, Rhino, but I'm having lunch. I don't know why I changed him to British. But I'm having lunch with the District Attorney General after this. We have to get going if we're to make it on time for the early bird special. B but the cross-examination isn't finished yet. Remember what I told you earlier? A police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons? Like the right to refuse to testify. I'm invoking that right now. What? That is not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. So you're going to just run away after all this? Run away? Don't make me laugh, Worthy. I stabbed old Goodman. That's what you're saying, right? But if you had any conclusive evidence, you would have presented it by now. Well, I... You think I had Lana dispose of the body? If so, then show your proof and get it over with. Hmm, I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damon Gant is the current chief of police. This court will not tolerate any accusations against him without concrete proof. Well, Mr. Wright? Y your Honor? Do you have any concrete proof? Proof that Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman and made Miss Skye dispose of his body. Do I have any concrete proof? This is, like, think the one time in the entire friggin' series where no, you do not have proof yet. It's no use showing evidence. I'm not even sure of myself. See, there's nothing. I mean, yeah, we don't. No, Your Honor. At present, I have no conclusive evidence. Hmm. See, Urgy. In that case, this court is forced to penalize you for your allegations against the chief. What? Here's a tip. Never gamble what you can't afford to lose, Rhino. It seems that Lady Luck was on my side again today. Okay, Urgy, I'll leave the rest to you. I'm gonna go swimming later. I warned you earlier, Mr. Wright. This 
is an affront to a senior officer in our nation's law enforcement agency. What? Wah! <laughs> I like how it shows the life bar, but you actually don't take any hit. Lady Luck, hmm? Maybe we should have a word with her. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? There's one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. We haven't yet had the honor of hearing her testimony. A lady who knows the truth. Another witness. In the absence of conclusive evidence, the only other method of proof is testimony. But Chief Kant has invoked his right to, t to refuse to testify. There's still someone else. One more witness who can answer all the questions raised in this trial. Someone right in this very room. Mr. Edgeworth, who is this person? Hmm. Why are you asking me, Your Honor? Have you forgotten? The defense is the one calling witnesses today. Mr. Wright, does such a witness exist? She may not be willing to tell the truth. We can't just stop now. Yes, Your Honor. The defense calls forth... Miss Lana Sky. Frick, this is, this is such a crazy trial. The defendant, Miss Lana Sky? She was in the underground parking lot at 5.15 p.m. on February 21st. Her task? To dispose of the victim's body. In accordance with a certain someone's orders. Hmm, Mr. Edgeworth? The prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Very well. The court will now take its final recess for the day. In 15 minutes, we will reconvene to hear the defendant's testimony. This court is now in re- Hold on. Huh? Oh, there we go. I was about to say, who's that? Chief Gant, I thought you were going to eat. <laughs> Listen good, Lana. He's talking to Lana. I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claims, there will be terrible consequences. I mean, he's... That's... 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 Witness tampering at this point, right? Like, that's right. Your sister will be found guilty for Neo Marshall's murder. And I guess the thing technically hasn't, um... It's not been, uh... Like, the... the the date of whatever for that trial or that um, case isn't closed yet, technically. Ah, this isn't good. Of course, you'd never support such outrageous claims anyway, right? Just something to think about. All right, then. I've got a lunch date to meet. Of course, the day. What'd you have for lunch today? I'm actually about to have lunch, so I haven't had anything yet. Had breakfast. It's really good. I made my own, my own little sausage McMuffin, but without the Mick to make it legally different. So, <laughs> had uh, two sausages, some cheese, mayo on one side, and mustard on the other side. It was really good. Anyways, okay, if there aren't any further objections, this court is now in recess. Holy crap. Another reason. Oh, okay, well, we're not doing the saving? All right. Looks like we managed to stay in the game. Yeah, thanks to your help, Edgeworth. That chief, he's something else, eh, pals? Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> I'm not a detective anymore. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Ah, don't worry, I've already decided where to work now. At your office! My office? Sure, I'll take the places of that top-knotted girl you used to work with. You don't remember her name? Could he mean... Yeah, of course, Maya, who else? Still, looks like we're all out of the moves now. Chief Gant's done it again. How is it he always gets the upper hand? It's not fair he has the right to refuse testif uh, to testify. No, it's a right, man. Hmm. Settle down, right. Remember what the judge said. But, Chief, that is not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. And he might have to face those risks. Risks? What did he mean by that? It's simple. If the Chief refuses to testify, the opposite also holds true. Uh, I'm assuming it's Emma? You mean he forfeits his right to say anything, too? Or not Emma. Yeah, it is Emma. Okay, I thought, I thought it was Lana for some reason. Emma, are you okay? Yeah, when I came to, I was in the medical office. I've been listening to the trial from the gallery. So she heard everything that's been going on. Um, Emma, I'm sorry for what I said before. No, don't be. It was the truth. You know, it's funny. I almost feel somehow relieved. I've committed my first murder. The second one will be much easier. <laughs> relieved? Yeah. Now I finally know what really happened. To think that all this time, my sister was being blackmailed by that terrible man, and she did it all just to protect me. Ever since her appointment as chief prosecutor, everyone who knew her said she changed. Perhaps it was easier that way for her. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? To follow Chief Gant's orders, she must have shut herself up deep inside, to force herself to do anything and everything the chief told her to do. 
She wasn't able to show emotion like I, Miles Edgeworth, am able to. <laughs> but that must be why she became so cold. It was all my fault. It's all because I... I murdered Mr. Marshall. Oh, I wonder what friggin' Jake thinks about that. Hey, don't go blaming, blaming yourself now. If you want to blame anyone, blame society, pal. Chief Gant may be able to fool everyone else with his forgery, but he can't fool my memory. I remember now. I knocked Mr. Marshall into armor. I, I see. Well, we better get back. It's time for the final act. Emma, why don't you wait? No, I'm going, to, I'm going with you. I want to be there when Lana tells the truth. Let's go right. It's time to end this. To be continued. Dang. Holy crap, well, we're near the end. I'm Phil and Banks. See you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.